my god. The last few days have been a little bit weird, chat. Do you guys know why? You don't have to say why. You just need to say yes or no. Is that cool? I made a change to the battle pass. It previously read that I only did lewds, and now it does it, if you get what I mean. And I can't talk about that too much because Twitch will get mad at me. But can we talk about one thing? Why does everyone say it's small? I thought it was good. Dude, I've never had any complaints. With all the teasers, everyone was like, Dude, it's been like really fucking hung or something. And then it comes out and they go, Oh, pretty. What the f***? Can I tell you a secret? You're not allowed to bully me if I tell you this one because I told Ashley and she like giggled. There's a photo shoot that's not out yet. I do this photo where I'm like covering it with my hand. But to do that, you know, I need to lift the skirt up. And I was looking at the selfie camera so I could like see what I was doing. And I lifted the skirt up and went, Oh. <laughs> To myself alone in my room. Oh, it's it's cold in here. Dude, that's crazy that that just like happens and there's no warning. It just gets suddenly really like freezing temperatures in my room, I guess. You completely forgot that I did that. <laughs> Cute is absolutely not what I expected it to be called. I thought it was going to be shocking or um, incredible. Godlike, perhaps, but no. Wow, it has 420 comments. $930 in tips? What the f***? I'm going to say that that's better than it being big. I mean, that's... <laughs> It is big. It's just not. It doesn't seem it in that photo. It's the lighting. It's like the kind of angle too. You guys don't know what you're talking about with this whole like angling and stuff. And photos are weird. You know, like the camera adds 10 pounds. The camera takes off two inches is what I mean. I've got nothing left. While I am very appreciative of all the comments that say it's beautiful. Wasn't what I was expecting. I'd say that, yo, I've heard like nice c bro. Sick d <laughs> Nice d bro and sick c Can you believe no one's seen my that sounds weird to say. Chat, at what point am I going to stop uh, misgendering myself? <laughs> when am I going to, like, become normal? When am I going to get, like, titty implants? When's that a thing? Chat, can I tell you about my books? Twitch, please. I understand the rules of your platform is to not, like, really harp on sexual content, but I swear to God, this is educational because it's HRT, and it would be very transphobic. <laughs> Did you know that they grow in stages? It's a cyclical thing. Oh yeah, they do. No one told me that. Just have five stages. Wait, there's a fucking number? Dude, wait, everyone knows more than me. I don't know about any of this. No one told me this. In fact, no one's told me this until right now. So yeah, there's like stages or whatever. I don't know where I'm at. Here's the thing. They were growing when I left to go do the shoots and they were hurting, which means they're growing, I think. I got back home and Ashley saw me shirtless and she went like, are yours bigger? Look, even if I get in F cups one day, bro, there's a chance it could have been Zed's. You know what I mean? Like, I took, like, specifically a block of, of breast growth at one point in time. I'm not on it anymore. That worked for a long time. And uh, clearly it's stopped working. They're just growing now, I guess. <laughs> Been on HRT for years. I don't think that's gonna be true. Don't forget, shrinkage will occur okay. from HRT. You know what sucked, by the way? Is I said that, and then a bunch of other people messaged me saying like, oh, I never had that issue. Okay. I'm so happy for you. I'm so happy. Good job. Good genetics. F dude. Why? That's fucked up. That, 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 why? Uh. How was the waxing? Did I not talk about the waxing? Oh, let me set the scene for you, right? I don't actually know where I'm going. I told Barbie, like, to, like, find a good waxing place or something and, and book me in there because I'd never had a wax before. She, like, she booked this place. I didn't look at the place. I didn't know where it was. On the day, I checked out where it was and I was like, okay, cool. It's in, like, basically the center of Birmingham. Easy enough. I get in and there's this big an automated system in there to like sign in like a giant TV screen on the wall that was touchpad and I was like damn this is fucking sick the inside was like built like a subway not like a sandwich shop subway like a um a New York subway like it's cold and it's this small cold room the saving grace of it is the lady that works there is the sweetest motherfucker ever and then she went yeah people really don't like me I was like why you seem so nice and she says don't worry you'll see let me set the scene for you again she goes goes like cock this leg out like that for obvious reasons she's trying to get to an area but she puts the wax on everything and i'm like that's a lot in one go and she's like no it's just that if i do it a little bit first people tend to leave huh <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> and she went there's one way out this room and it's without that wax there <laughs> chat i'm telling you it hurt exactly as much as you're expecting it was so bad and then they do the other fucking side you do that again and at this point i'm like i was completely fine with everything i have a breathing technique for when i'm getting like laser done i can just kind of push my like face onto the table and just kind of go 
mouth breathing. It's whatever. Not a f***ing chance. I, I couldn't stop myself from genuinely just yelping. I like to preserve the tiniest little bit of my masculinity for that side of me that is. There was none that day, chat. You know when you step on a dog's paw and they make that all like, <laughs> you know? That was me. I've only talked to you about the front half. The last thing we did was the back half. Listen, I'm gonna tell you very, very easily. The wax is warmer than you'd think, especially when it goes there. When you're doing the laser, it's kind of like, how can I describe this? What's something that looks like an asshole, like near me? Okay, this fucking thing, okay. You get what I'm going for, right? When you do the lasering, you're kind of doing like the, the cheek and everything, and then like kind of on the inside, and it's like, okay, cool, whatever. Wax? Oh, that motherfucker, dude. Couldn't have fought if I wanted to. I want you to imagine this. You need to know the scene. Fully tiled room. It's cold. It's me and this one other lady. I'm in immense pain after getting my fucking everything there waxed. And then they say, okay, I'm going to need you to turn onto your side. I'm like, okay, great. So I turn. I turn onto my side. I'm doing this on the floor. So I'm like this. I'm like, okay, all ready. And she goes, okay, now bring your knees like to your chest. <laughs> like this. And then like this wax goes on. I'm just waiting there for a while because the wax has to set. She was talking about her dogs. And if you've ever been waxed before, they don't say like three, two, one, boof, because they don't want you to like tense up and flinch. So it's the random amount. So imagine I'm doing this like, oh yeah, you know, he's a, he's a good, like not knowing when she's going to do it. Oh yeah, he's a, she's, uh, he's a really good boy. He's a little bit, um, he's a little, uh, <laughs> I swear to God, my reaction was just laying there for a second and then going, oh my God. <laughs> I couldn't fucking walk or sit down for like 30 minutes. That's what she said. <laughs> that shit is rough. I bought a car, chat. It's an expensive fucking car. It's not like a supercar or something. In fact, it's a mom car, according to everyone on the internet. Okay, listen. Shut the fuck up. It's okay. It's not a soccer mocha, please. It's cool, man. Do I regret the purchase? Maybe a little bit. Okay, I didn't have anyone there to tell me that it was a stupid car. Okay, look. I went up. Oh. It's self-driving. No, it doesn't. What else doesn't it do? The doors don't close on their own. A bunch of other ones do for this fucking price. The, the, it's an SUV. So it's got tons of storage space. No, cause it's got a fucking fridge. But it has a fridge that kind of barely works. It just kind of cools stuff down. But it is a fridge. Oh, oh my God. It has a champagne flute holder because like this is a fancy mother fucking thing, right? They didn't include them because it's a used car and the old owner sold it because he used it as an Uber driver. <laughs> Did you get it cheap? No. <laughs> Right, do you want to know the thing? Here's the reason. I think it's stupid. It's so fucking stupid. I talked to my accountant and they, and I said like, yo, I drive a lot and I also have to take my friends places. I'm traveling an awful lot. We need to pack bags and stuff. There's multiple people. It's a passenger car, right? I went, okay, cool. I'll look into passenger cars. Like what's a, a Range Rover like? And then we learned that Range Rovers cost 50,000 pounds a year to insure because they keep getting stolen. And so we went, ah, oh, good. I don't want to pay that because that's unaffordable. And then also, yeah, you could buy like a new brand new car like every two years with insurance like yeah the uk is f***ed. so i went like okay i want like an easier car to insure it's more common so i went like mercedes cool i've been in a mercedes the ultra luxury of that is the s class that's like their big big range they're really nice turned out they cost like hundred and twenty thousand pounds and i was like ah, that's a lot but then i learned that there is there's a gls which is the s class suv and an suv drives smoother because it's got this interesting like suspension and stuff it's got this air suspension i was like hell yeah and so we went to go see one. I was very impressed. And then I sent a picture to one of my friends. And then my friend said, like, that's a mom car. And I went, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I call up Mercedes and I go, yo, what does one of these bad boys cost? And they gave me the price, so 200,000 pounds. And I went, um, no, that's a lot of money. So uh, I went and I got like a used one. I went online and I saw like, the, what are the used ones? Like, you know, the whole thing of like, they lose like 50K as soon as you drive them off the lot sort of thing, right? Anyway, I went to go see this car. It was a little bit grubby. There was some stuff that needed to be fixed on it. I said like, oh, I'll pay you this much. Go take it detailed, fix the tires. Go dealership, go, go do your thing. They bring it back. And I swear to God, it came back from the detailing place. The carpets were not cleaned, but they had that weird vacuum line. And that's all they did. They did nothing other than that. I went to the dealership and I said like, what the fuck is this? Like, this is the day we're paying and picking up the car. I said, what the fuck is going on, man? And they went like, no, dude, dude, what the fuck? That's so crazy. Like we paid the details. Like we can show you it costs 50 pounds. 50, that's the price of someone to like lightly blow on it. I've seen TikToks where people charge like 750. 
Hey! To be honest with you, I was very annoyed on the drive home. Ashley was annoyed too, but quickly realized that I was more annoyed and that she was like, she needed to be like the voice of reason and be like, honey, Perry, it's gonna, no, look, it's okay. We're gonna detail, we're gonna go back. It's okay, it's fine. And on the way back, you know, we start playing some music and stuff and then like, it's actually kind of nice. I mean, it is like a luxury car. So we're like, okay, the seats have massage seats and I nearly fell asleep. It was very good and I'm very happy with it, but. Ah, uh, <laughs> listen, I've done it all now. Look, I'm done. If you're a YouTuber or, or like streamer or YouTuber, anything like that, you've got to do a couple things. You've got to get a really hot girlfriend. Bam, check. You've got to get like a new house. Working on it. You've got to get like a dumb, stupid car. Bam, done it. I'm missing like one or two things now. I'm missing like a crippling like cocaine addiction and like to do something fucked up with a minor. That's the two things I'm missing. And to be honest with you, they don't sound like something I want to <laughs> Of all those goals of spending money on dumb shit, like a place to live and a car, Decide I'm done now. What about a ring? Fuck. Ashley, how much do you want a, a wedding ring to cost? Traditionally. Traditionally? It's three months salary. After tax? And, you know, since we're not in a very but traditional relationship. Very yeah. One month salary. Wait, do I get one too? Do you want an engagement ring? Do we both get? How does it work? Depends what, what gender you're gonna lean into. If I get an engagement ring, I'm, I'm woman. <laughs> Engagement sword? B? Can I go to bed now? Yeah, you can go to bed. <laughs> can you finish the story about your latest work trip? We do this so much. There was a guy uh, that we saw that we thought was stealing a motorbike for a while. It ended up being nothing. The more interesting thing is Brighton is a very, very strange place. Brighton is the sort of place that like, there's reoccurring characters. But yeah, there was this dude outside our window that was like, we've, we've named him the whip guy. People act in Brighton how I assume people act in like LA. They don't care. He would every day, clock strikes like 2 p.m. We had this ongoing theory that it was like his break or something from work and it was him getting out his, his fucking fury of like his normal like, like customer service job and he has this fucking bull whip. And out our window, we just heard this like cracking sound. We thought someone was literally throwing rocks at our window and we went, oh, he was just whipping this one post for like two hours at a time. I have no fucking clue what he was doing, but he was so dead set on doing this. Like there was this one time a dog walked up to him and started barking at him directly in front of him. No sh he didn't even look down at the dog. It just was like, it was just barking at him. He was looking straight at the post that he was whipping, just holding the whip in his hand. Dog's fucking going at him. He's doing nothing. He's just staring, blank face, just nothing. Dog moves. <laughs> Just carried on. He was fucking locked in, dude. Then the other thing was like, it wasn't like he was an asshole or anything. A bunch of people like walked past him and said like, yo, can I have a go with that thing? And he let him. He showed him how. He was not drugged up. We saw him in real life. We saw him when he was leaving. Like, I really wanted to fucking have a go with the whip, but I was in like a bikini when we were doing the photo, so I couldn't go. I wanted to try that fucking bull whip thing. But anyway, fellas, boys, I gotta go. I got a fucking pint of ice cream with my name on it, chat. See you, motherfuckers. Oh, yo, it's getting better. Okay, bye.